हेलो स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज अक्षता यू एजुकेटर एंड आई वेलकम यू ऑल ऑन द प्लेटफॉर्म ऑफ ग्लोबल ऑनलाइन फॉर योर अपकमिंग सी टेट एग्जामिनेशन ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री डिसंबर ग्लोबल ऑनलाइन एप्लीकेशन हैज कम अप विद अ कम्प्लीट कोर्स वेर विल बी डिस्कस इन द होल सिलेबस ऑफ द सी टेट एग्जामिनेशन इन दिस पर्टिकुलर सीरीज फ्रॉम द मैथमेटिक्स विल बी टीचिंग यू द टॉपिक नेम्ड एज मैंसुरेशन सो अलॉन्ग विद द कंसेप्ट आई बी कवरिंग यू लॉट्स ऑफ एम सी क्यूज ओवर हियर दिस इज द सेशन नंबर सिक्सटीन प्लीज डू वॉच द प्रीवियस सेशन एज वेल बिकॉज दिस इज गोइंग टू हेल्प यू अलॉट फॉर यूर अपकमिंग एग्जामिनेशन ऑफ डिसम्बर सो इफ यू आर टारगेटिंग फॉर पेपर वन और पेपर टू ऑफ सी टेट डिसम्बर ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री एग्जामिनेशन दैन देर इज अ न्यूज़ फॉर यू गाइज ग्लोबल ऑनलाइन एप्लीकेशन हैज़ कम अप विद अ कम्प्लीट कोर्स फॉर पेपर वन एंड पेपर टू सो इन दिस यूल बी प्रोवाइडेड विद दी फॉलोइंग फीचर्स हियर you'll be provided with the full syllabus video lectures through this video lectures you can clear all your concepts along with the students lots of practice will be carried out through this video lectures you can clear all the concepts along with this educator will share you lots of tips and tricks over here this is going to help you a lot for your preparation full syllabus notes will be provided this is in the form of pdf which is easily downloaded through your mobile phone as well 50 plus mock test through this mock test you can test your preparation along with the students this mock test contains the questions which can be directly replicated in the examination as well hence this is going to help you a lot full syllabus mcq pdf will be provided this pdf is again downloaded through your mobile phone as well the course fees for the paper 1 plus paper 2 is 3000 rupees if you are targeting for both the papers the fees that you have to pay over here is 3000 thousand rupees or if you are targeting for the individual paper paper 1 or paper 2 then the course fees is a uh, 2000 rupees each for individual paper okay so you just have to contact us on this given whatsapp number for the enrollment of the course or download the global online application this was the question in previous class i have given you as a homework so let's solve this question now Diagonal of the rhombus are given that is seven point five centimeter and twelve centimeter and they have they have asked you to find out the area of the rhombus. Okay, so here you must know the area of rhombus is calculated through the uh, through the diagonals. Okay, so the area of rhombus formula for that is half of d one into d two. So what is d one over here? Seven point five. This is the value of d one. D two's value is twelve centimeter. So put these values in the formula. One by two into seven point five into twelve. So this will give me two six r. Seven point five into six that is equal to forty five centimeter square. Okay. So this is the area of the rhombus. So based upon such small formulas, also question can be asked in your examination. Moving on to the next question now, find the area of the rhombus whose side is five centimeter and its altitude is four point eight centimeter. If one of its diagonal is eight centimeter long, find the length of the other diagonal. Okay. Now here the formula is the area of rhombus. So students, the area of rhombus is found by the formula. Uh, that is equal to base into height. That is altitude. Okay. So look here now. Area of rhombus. This is equal to base into altitude. Why I have taken this? Because rhombus is also kind of parallelogram. We know this since a rhombus rhombus is a kind of parallelogram. So the area of rhombus will be equal to base into altitude of yeah, fir height you can call it. Okay. Now if we put the values in this, we'll get the area of rhombus is equal to base is six. If I'm not wrong, uh, something is going wrong. Shayad, just let me check. base into altitude yes here actually the values should be 4 not 4.8 okay so base is what given over here is uh, something is actually going wrong uh just let me check okay so let's just uh, solve this question by tomorrow's class because something data is missing in this question okay i'll explain this question in tomorrow's class let's skip to the ne next question the floor of a building consists of 3000 tiles which are a rhombus shaped and each of its diagonal are 45 cm and 30 cm in length find the total cost of polishing the floor if the cost per meter square is rupees 4 Interesting question again. Here you have to understand length of one diagonal D one. Let us consider that is equal to forty five centimeter. Length of the other diagonal that is D two is equal to thirty centimeter. If we have to find the area of one tile, 
area of one tile and the one tile is actually what here the tile is tile is actually rhombus in shape so for rhombus we'll take here that is equal to just a minute half of d1 into d2 this is the formula for the area of rhombus okay so this will give me half of 45 into 30 this is equal to 675 centimeter square we got the area of one tile okay this is the area of one tile that is equal to 675 centimeter square if one tiles area is equal to 675 centimeter square then the area of 3000 tiles will be equal to 675 into 3000 this will give me so 3000 okay 2025 000 centimeter square okay so to convert this centimeter square into meter square okay what i will do is i'll divide here by 10000 okay so 2025 000 divided by 10000 this will give me 202.50 meter square since you should write down in the bracket for if you don't know this one meter square is equal to 10000 centimeter square 10,000 centimeter square now here what is given the cost of polishing the floor if the cost per meter square is given that is equal to four uh, four rupees okay so for per meter per meter square the cost is rupees four so for so for 202.50 meter square what will be the cost 4 into given value that is 202.50 this will give me answer is equal to 810 rupees so total 810 rupees are required or the total cost is required for polishing the floor when the per meter square rate is rupees 4 okay this is how you solve the question here you just have to know understand how to convert 1 meter square or how to convert the values of the centimeter square to meter square at the same time you should know what is the area of one tile how i have find it out using the uh, rhombus wala formula that is the area of the rhombus is equal to half of d1 into d2 and based upon the given rate we have find out the rate of the total polishing of the floor okay moving on to the next question students mohan wants to find uh, to buy a trapezium shaped field its side along the river is parallel to and twice the side along the road. If the area of this field is 10,500 meters square and the perpendicular distance between the two parallel sides is 100 meter, find the length of the side along the river. Okay, to understand here uh, this question, you know, if you look at the diagram as well, you can see that the height given over here is 100 meter. This is the distance between the two parallel side. The one side is road, the other side is river and the distance between these two parallel uh, parts is 100 meter. Okay, and the given area of trapezium, this is the trapezium, if you see clearly over here, if I use some different color, you can see clearly, this is the trapezium. And the area of trapezium is given to you that is equal to 10,500 meter square. Okay. Now you can find out the area of area of uh, trapezium field. And through that you can find out what values. I'll tell you just a minute. Just let us write down the given data over here first. Point number one. We know that the distance between the two parallel sides that is the height of the uh, two parallel roads or the distance between the two parallel roads is equal to 100 meter this is given in the question okay this is given into the question it is equal to 100 meter okay this is given and the area of the trapezium this is equal to 10500 meter square okay let the side along road along the road be x meter x meter and side along river will be 
टू एक्स मीटर वाई टू एक्स मीटर बिकॉज दिस इज गिवन इन टू द क्वेश्चन लुक यर एक्स मीटर वाई हैव टेकन एक्स मीटर एंड टू एक्स मीटर बिकॉज दे हैव टोल्ड अस इफ द साइड अलॉन्ग द रिवर इज पैरल टू ट्वाइस द साइड ऑफ द रोड सो द ट्वाइस ऑफ द साइड ऑफ द रिवर इज गोइंग टू बी टू एक्स एंड दैट साइड ऑफ द रोड इज गोइंग टू बी एक्स मीटर्स ओवर हियर ओके सो द एरिया ऑफ ट्रपेजियम यू नो द फॉर्मूला दैट इज इक्वल टू हाफ ऑफ ए प्लस बी इंटू हाइट वी हैव ऑलरेडी सीन दिस फॉर्मूला इन एस टू डेज क्लास ओके सो टेन थाउजेंड फाइव हंड्रेड इज इक्वल टू हाफ ऑफ एक्स प्लस टू एक्स इन टू हंड्रेड दिस विल गिव मी टेन थाउजेंड फाइव हंड्रेड इज इक्वल टू थ्री एक्स इन टू फिफ्टी so the value of x is equal to 70 meters so this is the value of x which means the side of the side which means the side along the river will be how much 70 meters side along the river will be 70 meters and side along the road is 2x so the river is 2x this will give me 2 into 70 that is equal to 140 so the length of the side along the river is equal to 140 so such types of question can be sure shot asked in your paper 2 pattern okay so try to understand what type of concept we have used behind this question okay moving on to the next question students now the uh, diagram of the adjacent pictures okay uh Frame has outer dimensions given here, twenty-four centimeter into twenty-eight centimeter, and the inner dimensions are given. That is sixteen centimeter into twenty centimeter. We have to find the area of each section of the frame if the width of each section is the same. Okay, divide. Basically, you can divide. I have divided here the frame into four parts. First part, second part, third part, and fourth part. That is to equally. Okay, so from this we can find out. the figure that the figure is of trapezium area of the figure is nothing but it is a trapezium shape right so i what i'll do here here the two of the given figures first and the second are similar in dimensions okay also the part number 3 and 4 are similar in dimensions you can see part number 1 and 2 the part which i have mentioned here 1 and 2 are similar and 3 and 4 are similar okay so here i'll find out the area of figure this is the area of trapezium that is equal to the area of trapezium and we know the formula for the area of trapezium if you are even able to decode the figure then also you can solve this question and if you know the formula of area of trapezium that is equal to half of a plus b into height this will give me half of 28 Plus twenty into height is equal to four. This will give me half of forty-eight into four. This is equal to ninety-six centimeter square. So ninety-six centimeter square is the area of figure one as well as figure two. This is for the area of figure one. For figure three and for the figure four, area of figure three and four. This was for the first and second okay first and second now for third and fourth if we see here this is equal to again half of a plus b into height what is given the uh, what are the sides given over here that is equal to half of 24 plus 16 is b right okay into 4 this will give me 1 by 2 into 40 into 4 20 are 80 this will give me 80 cm square we have find the area of each section where the area of the first and the second part is equal to 96 cm square the area of the third and the fourth part is equals to 80 cm square okay moving on to the next question students the top surface of a raised platform in a shape of a rectangular octagon as shown in the figure find the area of the octagonal surface look at the figure carefully the octagon is a shape actually having eight sides and all the eight sides are equal so if one side is given to you 5 cm so all remember all the sides are going to be 5 5 cm each okay after this okay divide the octagon as shown in the figure okay 
two trapeziums whose parallel and perpendicular sides are also given to you that is equal to the 11 cm and 4 cm respectively as shown into the figure okay and the third one is a rectangle one more rectangle whose length is equal to 11 meter and 5 meter respectively so we'll find the area of two trapeziums over here and we know the formula of area of one trapezium we can find the area of two tra trapeziums area of two trapeziums this is equal to 2 into half of a plus b into h so half of a plus b into h is the area of trapezium for two trapezium i have simply multiplied it by 2 so i will get here the value this is equal to 2 into 1 by 2 into 11 plus 5 into 4 this will give me 4 into 16 that is equal to 64 meter square this is the area of both trapeziums okay let us find find out the area of rectangle area of rectangle where area of rectangle is equal to length into breadth already we have seen this length given is 11 meter into 5 meter okay so this will give me 55 meter square to find out the area of all this rectangle i have simply multi uh, simply add these two trapeziums area with this rectangular area okay we know the area of two trapezium that is first and the second part is equal to what 64 meter square and for the third which is a rectangle area is equal to 55 meter square if i add up together I will get the value that is equal to 119 meter square. I hope you have got this question. Please take a screenshot of this. Once more, I would like to tell you that in this whole figure, we have actually divided this figure into three parts. One is this particular trapezium, the other is this another trapezium, and the third one is this rectangle. Finding out the area of these two trapezium and then add it up with the area of the rectangle very simple question it was again but such type of question can get confused in your examination because you have limited span of time to solve the questions so these tips and tricks are going to help you a lot always remember whenever a geometrical shape is given to you always try to just focus on the diagram for 15 seconds okay at least for the 15 seconds so you'll be able to solve this type of hard questions as well okay so this was the end of today's session students in tomorrow's lecture we'll be starting up with the different uh, geometrical shapes that is the cubes and cuboids okay so lots of questions i'll take i'll practice i'll make you practice on that at the same time cylinder figures are also uh, the thing or the part that can be asked in your examination so we'll see the question based on it all also okay so at least uh, 10 to 15 questions are pending and we'll see those questions in tomorrow's lecture in, including the volume as well okay so this was the end of today's section thank you for joining it i hope you are liking the video if you're liking it please hit the like button and let me know in the comment section whether you are uh, able to understand whatever i am explaining over here or not okay so this was the end of session thank you for joining it have a great day everyone bye